Uh, my name is Lopsang Samten. I'm from Tibet, born in Tibet, and then I fled Tibet in 1959, age of five, and uh, came to Nepal first, and then eventually came to India, and sort of uh, it is grow, grow in India, and then eventually came to United States. And 1988, and uh, ever since then, I've been creating a lot of uh, ancient Tibetan Zen mandalas. Of course, all the mandalas are tradition, but uh, some of the mandalas are such a, all of so beautiful, but in some time it's hard to explain for the general public who do not have uh, that much a background of Buddhist and Buddhist philosophy. What I'm showing to here is an image, it's called Will of Life. In our language, it's called Sipa Kolo. The will of life, which many ways are fascinating, and also me as an artist to display this art in, in the schools, especially in the schools, and kids can understand a lot better, and not only just intellectually understand better, but something related to in their life. So what is in the will of life in the mandala or uh, in design? The middle of these are three animals, and there are mm, three animals are a snake, a rooster, and pig. Uh, three animals are there. They are also chasing to each other, connecting to each other, and uh, which means uh, what is the causes of suffering? What makes us uh, difficult? What makes uh, we are so stressful? So each animal means something, not the animal itself, but represents something, what we're going through day to day basis. So the pig represents the ignorance, lots of due to our emotions, special negative emotions, and uh, difficulties, and frustrations, and even killing each other are due to the ignorance, not seeing the true nature of the reality. And unfortunately, sometimes we, as a pure teaching, either Buddhism or Christianity and Judaism, Islam and all of this, even though due to how to peace, due to how to create human peace and happiness, but some individual due to the ignorance used as a killing tool, name of the religion. So is uh, the pig, the animal, which in the middle symbolized the ignorance. Two other animals are there too. The snake represents the anger, uh, hatred. It's a, such a big problem in my life or uh, anybody's life in today, in the past. Due to our relationship, due to anything, the anger is uh, really uh, damaging. When, when Buddha designed this, was original was a pig and the snake, that the rooster case, uh, we really don't know in the original was a rooster or the pigeon. There's a little different, uh, uh, scholars have uh, different interpretations. So that's why in I draw San Mandala, sometimes I draw as a rooster, sometimes I draw as a pigeon, to both of them happy. <laughs> no too much complex. And so the pigeon represents, either pigeon or the a rooster represents a, a greed, the greed, the greed. We've seen that today in 21st century and uh, so much greed and, and all this a problem in the modern society damaging for the environment, damaging for many different things. It's a truly a greed. So, which I said earlier in the beginning of my <clears throat> conversation, these are the three, the ignorance and the greed and the anger are the difficulty one. So these are the causes of the suffering. Suffering rise from nothingness, suffering rise from due to something there previously, something happened, and because of that, it arises. So 
That's why the wheel of life is uh, so famous in, in Buddhist field, and especially in Tibet or Mongolia, in Bhutan, or some of the ancient uh, Buddhist temples. Wheel of life is uh, in the campus. In a way, the monastery or nunnery is a, like a university, so big campus. In Tibet, one monastery is like a 20 or 30,000 monks who are living there and study there and debate there and that their home. So either in the library or meditation room, some are will of life is a, and always they paint in the big wall. So that's the middle of the design of the will of life. And the second, uh, second design there, and now the, from I'm talking about the middle, and the second circle of the will of life, there's a black and white or day and night, sort of, you know, it symbolizes more of these three animals. There's some more difficulties, less of those, there's more joy. So sometimes we call it as a good karma and, and bad karma. And then the, there's a third circle is divided into the six sections. Our is called the six rooms or six different places we might reborn again and again and again. The six are, the number one is the heaven. This is not necessarily we're talking heaven as the other tradition we call a heaven, in, but a little different way. And demigods and the human, which we all, which all are and then animal, and then hungry ghost, and then hell realm. And then the last rank is called the 12 depending to origination. All are depending to each other. One of the most important Buddhist uh, teachings, uh, not only the loving kindness, compassion is so important, but plus Buddhists are like a revolutionary to me. He, he, he really understood about everything is uh, interdependent, everything is uh, depending to each other. And uh, so these are the, so many of these uh, depth of teachings and, and uh, simply and explained through the art. And this will be we doing uh, many years and thousands and thousands of years in beginning was in India, and then Buddhism came to Tibet around 7th century, and especially around 8, 9, 10, 11th century, uh, really uh, Buddhism was in Tibet, was uh, solely just sort of, sort of like a, you know, mixed with their individuals or, or, or communities uh, life. And we've been doing this a lot of will of life, either Tanga painting they call it, or, or drawing the image in the wall, but never, I'm not sure, never done by the sand, but then um, design is the ancient one, but the material used the sand is a sort of like a, my own, own ideas, because I'm doing a lot of sand mandalas in the United States and Canada and many other places. And our reason is because this is a, such a unique painting, explains us so much things uh, uh, what relate to now our life, but yet, but anybody can understand about this design. So that's a, really the meaning of the, uh, of the wheel of life.